So, you know, the E in PAE stands for embolization, right? And what is embolization? That is the purposeful blocking off of blood supply, of, of stopping, stopping blood flow uh, for a therapeutic purpose. And, and this is something that we've been doing as interventional radiologists for 30, 40 years at this point. It's just been other places besides the prostate. And maybe I shouldn't even say that because we have been treating the prostate as well, but not specifically for urinary symptoms for bleeding from hematuria, bleeding from the prostate, we've been doing the same procedure. Uh, and so we know that this is a, a reasonable thing to do. We treat cancer this way in other places like the liver and the kidney. Um, and we stop, you know, if someone comes in with a, a bleeding uh, bowels, we'll, we'll do that as well and target them. So, so this is a concept that we're, we're very familiar with. And it just happened, there's, you know, it was an interesting, there was a case report published in around 2000 in the, our main journal. And what it looked at was there was a patient, oh, my lights just went off, so there you go. The patient who came in um, to, uh, to, that had uh, bleeding from his prostate. So he was having a lot of blood in, in his urine and he went to an interventional radiologist who said, yeah, I can treat that. I will go ahead and, and embolize the prostate for bleeding. And so the, they did that, but sure enough, when he came back for follow-up about six weeks later, not only was he no longer having blood in his urine, he was also reporting that his, urine, his urination was much better. He had a stronger stream and he felt like he was emptying more every time he urinated. And so all of a sudden a light bulb went off, you know, maybe this is something we can do for more men with, with BPH and they published it. And then uh, from there, there were animal studies and trials and, and stuff went on like that. So you asked, what's the concept behind it? The concept is, that like you said, the prostate is a donut, squeezes down on the urethra and not only squeezes on the urethra, it also pushes up into the bladder, right? And causes the bladder to be irritated. And so if we can reduce the size of the prostate and also make it softer, then we'll have less pressure on the urethra and less pushing up on the bladder. And we can do that by starving it of blood, just like any other organ, when it gets starved of blood, it tends to shrink down. And that's what happens in the prostate. And so that's the concept is we go into both sides of the prostate, we, we stop as much of the blood flow as we can, and it shrinks down and, and presses less on the urethra.